As the sun set over the picturesque landscapes of Prince Edward Island, a somber gathering of students ignited a fiery protest that rippled through social media. What led these hopeful young minds, who traveled thousands of miles for a chance at the Canadian dream, to take to the streets? The answer is alarming, a looming threat of deportation. In recent weeks, the Canadian government has intensified scrutiny of international students, raising fears that many may face relocation back to India due to tightened visa regulations and alleged inconsistencies in study permits. Standing shoulder to shoulder, voices united under the slogans, not a number, but a future, these students are fighting for their dreams, dreams built on sacrifices and aspirations. Under the fading light of day, students held signs that told their stories, some had invested years of their lives and considerable finances pursuing education in Canada, believing it to be a pathway to success. However, recent immigration updates led to confusion and despair, as many realized their status was hanging by a thread. Each chant echoed a poignant message of fear and hope, reminding onlookers that these numbers represent lives, ambitions yet to be fulfilled. The protest in pay resembles a microcosm of a larger issue gripping the nation, one that challenges the very core of Canada's identity as a welcoming haven for international students. As tensions rise, will the government heed their pleas, or will dreams be dashed? Join me as we dive into this unfolding drama, exploring the plight of these students and the future of international education in Canada. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates and deeper dives into stories that matter. Hit that notification bell, be part of a community that champions dreams, justice, and change.